Myself, Lakshmi Narasimha Verma. I am enrolled in uh, Automotive Systems Engineering uh, Master's in Science program. I am expecting to graduate in uh, December 2023. I am an international student. Basically, uh, our program, Automotive Systems Engineering, is a multidisciplinary program uh, which has courses from uh, electrical and uh, mechanical domain, both combined. Altogether, we have to complete around uh, 30 credits to, get, to graduate from this program. There are like six elective courses that we have to take, out of which uh, we can actually choose from uh, different concentrations uh, like electrical or mechanical, industrial. So based on our preference, we can actually specialize in a certain area that we like. One thing that I like being in the program uh, are the choice of courses that we have here. In my area of interest, I wanted to learn about electronics and control systems. So here we have a stream of courses that we can actually choose to specialize in the electrical domain. So being able to choose what you want to learn is what I like in this program. I basically have two courses which are my favorites, not one. Uh, one of them is Vehicle Stability and Control and the other one is Battery Systems Modeling and Control. So both of them are uh, related to the control application in the automobile. Vehicle Stability basically uh, you know, like, uh, describes about or explains about uh, how uh, the vehicle dynamics uh, can be controlled using the uh, control algorithms. The Battery Systems and Modeling explain me about the different technologies that are used to uh, model the battery systems such as state of charge estimation, state of health estimation. So these are like areas that I really wanted to learn to be able to you know, cope up with the change in the trend in the industry. So uh, these two courses really helped me to learn a lot of insights. For any prospective student, uh, I would advise them to uh, go through the uh, prerequisites of all the courses and actually go through the description of uh, each course. Uh, basically, it gives some insights about what they're being taught and uh, what they need to be aware of as you know, in terms of fundamentals that they need to know before selecting uh, a course. Most of the courses uh, in the program uh, need uh, some amount of uh, programming skills or uh, usage of softwares like MATLAB and Simulink. So being aware of those skills or like uh, having a hands-on experience uh, on those tools uh, before coming to the university will uh, help them to easily cope up with the uh, coursework. Personally, uh, I wanted to uh, you know, choose a career in uh, control system domain in vehicle dynamics. I come from a vehicle dynamics background but purely mechanical. I worked on uh, uh, dampers and springs, you know, setting up uh, dampers and springs before in my previous roles, but I wanted to shift into ADAS domain, like working on the control applications of the ADAS features like uh, lane keep assist or uh, adaptive cruise control. That is why I have chosen this program and also uh, the courses that I have taken in the program are related to the uh, controls applications in the ADAS systems basically. Through the coursework, I uh, mainly learned the theoretical knowledge like uh, how the system is defined and uh, how the control part of it is done and uh, also like I got a chance to work with the professor as a research assistant on implementing a lane keep assist in a one-tenth scale car where I got uh, you know, like hands-on experience in developing uh, the lane keep assist algorithm and then implementing that in a toy car. This hands-on experience on working on this uh, scale car uh, has given me a good initial knowledge or let's say uh, fundamentals of the ADA systems which I can uh, leverage in the auto industry. One thing that I can think of is the faculty that we have here. Uh, most of our faculty are uh, having good amount of industry experience or they have uh, good insights about the industry and they are working on the projects from the industry. So that makes all of the courses more uh, intuitive and uh, the content that we learn from the courses is actually uh, relevant to the industry and we get to learn about the latest tools and technologies that are used in the industry. 
so uh, in a way we get to experience or like uh, learn things be ready for the you know like delivering uh, our job responsibilities i've been a part of the campus video network it was actually a, a good experience working with uh, people from uh, you know different countries different cultures so we used to hang around with all of us during our uh, regular meetings or catch ups and we worked along uh, for a few events in the university it was a really good time you know working on your hobby or your interest apart from concentrating only on the studies also i am doing uh, an internship in noem as part of my cpt uh, where i am basically uh, leveraging my skills that i have uh, learned in the university basically applying them in the industry <laughs>